something you might not know about Canada. Hey Canada, Jonathan Torrens again. Before the break, I promised I would tell you about the time that Canada tried to make science fiction real-ish. Okay, you remember the Avro Arrow, right? You know, the airplane that was supposed to launch Canada into aerospace dominance but got cancelled because it was insanely expensive? There was even a miniseries about it starring Dan Aykroyd. We will call it the Avro Arrow. But what about the Avro car? That's right, take a look. It's a flying saucer. And in the early 50s, Avro's resident genius John Frost tried to build one from scratch with funding from the Canadian government. Unfortunately, development proved insanely expensive, so Canada had to pull out of the project. Sound familiar? But when it comes to expensive military prototypes, you can always count on our friends to the south, the American military, who got involved in 1959, and soon the Avro car was flying over the skies of Malton, Ontario. Or technically onto the land of Malton, Ontario. See, the max cruising altitude of the Avro car was a piddly one meter off the ground. That's good news if you're afraid of heights, but bad news if you're trying to engage in combat. So in 1961, the US Air Force pulled out of the project, and that was the end of Canada's flying saucer. They never let us have any fun. That's something you might not know about Canada. <laughs>